just a calm performer in such a high pressure situation. You could describe our next guest that way. Nathan Ivaldi joins us here live in Arizona. Nathan, congratulations, man. Did you lean on your October experience in a moment like this tonight? Thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, you want to try to ride that momentum. You know what I mean? Ride that wave, and everything's been going good for us. And, you know, they got their backs against the wall, and it's trying to go out there and attack, attack, attack. And, um, you know, I didn't really help myself out too much. I felt like every inning I had guys on base, and I had to work out of a lot of jams. But, I mean, that, po that um, you know, the past experience definitely helps out a lot. How did you feel warming up before the game? Did you feel like you had good stuff warming up? I did. I felt like I, I – I mean, I felt great. I mean, I felt like any other game. I felt locked in, ready to go. It was just, again, that leadoff walk didn't help out much. And then, you know, a couple <laughs> knocks back to back. And uh, defense was incredible. Corey over there at short, Nate over, and then uh, Evan Carter out there in left field. He had some great reads on balls and was able to make really big plays for us. What is it about you, you know, in the postseason? Like, when you get running in scoring positions, it's like, Seeing your face is like, hey, I got this. I need to make the pitch, and you just come through all the time. Is that the yeah. experience and everything you get? Yeah, I mean, you, you got to bear down right there in those big moments. I feel like I'm the one who got got them in that situation. I need to prevent them from scoring. Uh, you got to battle, and I feel like a lot of the preparation, all the work that we do uh, behind the scenes with Mike and Jonah, you trust the ability and what pitch that you need to make in that situation. You watch enough replays, and. Uh, you know how to attack the guys now it's my job to go out there and make sure I execute those pitches night before a game before you're about to pitch a clincher do you sleep well I do I don't know what it is I think it's just being a starter and you have those five days and it's like day one I'll, I'll sleep terrible day two terrible and then day three it's, it gets a little better and that night before it's I sleep great and then uh, you know it's ready to go to work on day five you have a lot of experience in October baseball you know Albert and I were talking during the game do these games emotionally wear you out after you get done? 100%. I mean, I am I am gassed after these games. I don't know why I don't sleep very well that first night. Uh, I, you know, I think I just replay the game over and over in my mind. But um, yeah, I mean, this this whole postseason, the run, everything, it's like you're running on adrenaline you know, all the way through. Now that fifth inning was, uh, uh, you needed a lot of adrenaline to get through that. Do you have a conversation with, with uh, Bochi at all to come back out? Because you looked even sharper in the sixth inning. No, I mean, I think it was my pitch count. I'm not really sure. I'm trying to piece it together. I think I had enough runners on base as it was, and then I get that one clean inning. He's like, all right, good, you're done. <laughs> After that. And when you sign with the Rangers, this this is what you thought, like, you know, bringing a championship to Texas? Yes, 100%. I mean, we had those discussions uh, in the offseason with CY. I told him, I said, I fully believe that this team's capable of winning a World Series championship. You have the offense that's able to do it. Now you just need the pitching to go out there and do their job and prevent the runs from scoring. And I, I think that's been the whole key for us all uh, the whole postseason. The bullpen caught a lot of grief, but they were unbelievable tonight and throughout the whole postseason. When, when you're, I know you're focusing in on that Diamondback lineup, but are you looking out there watching Gallon going, man, I can't give up much because this guy's sharp tonight. And I mean, he was pitching unbelievable tonight. He had all of his pitches working, and it was, uh, you know, I, I, you, go, you try to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, try to go out there and last as long as he does. You know, it's almost like a boxing fight. You know, you don't want to give in too early, and you want to try to get your guys back in the dugout as fast as possible. And, uh, again, you can't give our offense enough credit. They were able to work some walks, and then Corey was able to get it started with a knock, and then uh, Evan Carter again. You went to the same high school as Nolan Ryan in the state of Texas. What's that high school's name? Alvin, Texas, or Alvin High School. Alvin High School. What's the what's the mascot? A yellow jacket, but it's orange, orange and black. Okay, there's a yearbook floating around with your face in it, and, and that kid pitched the game for the Texas Rangers to win their first ever World Series. There are high school friends of yours that are going crazy right now for you. What do you say to all them? No, oh, it's incredible. I mean, I can't thank them, and you know, enough for all their love and support. Uh, you know, again, Nolan set the foundation for us. You know, he gave me that motivation that. You can believe in anything. I always looked up to him. And uh, again, there's so many people to thank along the way that have helped me out and like taken me under their wing and just like believed in me. And I think that's the biggest thing is once you have belief, you just keep going with it. Nate, uh, can we, everybody comes up with a nickname in the month of October. Before you came up on the set, you're Nate the Great. Nate yeah. the Great. <laughs> Nate the Great. Nathan Evaldi, outstanding work, my friend. Winning the World Series for the Texas Rangers.